addition and subtraction, uh, syndrome differentiation, wind cold obstruction, <coughs> and fast wind. I have to put out the wind. Fen, men, a point type. Fen, fen means in Chinese is the wind. There are nearly 12 acupuncture points are there in our body. So when we look at about the fen, 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 12 fen. One is the eye fen, eye fen is angle 17. Fen fen is connected to the UV 12. And then fen lung, that is the stomach 40. Chum fen, that is the liver pool, right? So then ping fen, that is the small intestine 12. So, so many pen points, nearly I made one video, especially only for the volume points, that means pen points. So, that is connected to only 12 points. So, you just look at that, definitely that has a great awesome results. But now the pen, when the point is, you, are, you keep it in your mind. So, this particular point, Chinese says, that not only treatable for the pain, but the whole spine to be treatable by using only two particular points. That points to be called as a, one is, is a saw shoe, the other point to be called as a pen man. So these are the two major points can be applicable to treat for the whole spine, the people who are suffering for this. Because the person who says is the cervicogenic headache is not only the headache, the people who have the cervical pain, definitely they do have the lower back pain. If the low back pain is there, then definitely having the pain on the knee pain as well. So therefore, there are the two most, the top most important points to be treatable for activating this point is that you just understand the top shoe. I think Dr. Deepak Raut is here. I think please welcome Dr. Deepak So therefore you understand the pen men and then saw shoe. Keep it in your mind forever. The strongly bilaterally there are the four points, two plus two points together. If you activate, but definitely having the great impact. Yes. Right, so there are the two points what I told you. The ta shoe, the name itself, ta means is the big in Chinese, shoe means is the point. Ta shoe, which is the influential point for the bone and cartilage, two tunes, that is 1.5 tunes lateral to the lower border of the spinal process of the first thoracic vertebra. This particular point to be really applicable for the numerous diseases number one. The Chinese says the pen men. He saw the pen men is again the, on the second thoracic vertebra. These two points can be reachable for the whole spine. When the patient is complaining the lower back pain, the patient is complaining on the cervical pain or upper back pain or the middle back pain, then you wanted to treat for the 33 vertebras. So definitely there are the two points on the right and two points on the left side that having the great awesome relief to treat for the whole spine. So therefore, so this pen men point is activated here because that is treating for not only the cervical, of course for the whole back as well. Then we look at about the another point to be called as a is the UB16 and then Hegu, that is the normal points are there. So when the kidney and the liver is affected, the point to be called is the Kanshu and Shenshu points to be activated. Right, the other point when now I am coming to the numbness of the upper limbs and fingers with the Shahai. But this to understand, but the people who are the acupuncturists, they can understand the numbness of the upper limbs or the fingers with the especially the radial now and ulnar now, both will be affected. In that particular time, there are the two points I wanted to tell you. The radial now to be treatable by activating the Chuchi and then Chausa and the LI11 and then LI10. Both the points to be treatable for the, for the, for the radial now. Whereas in the knee, ulnar now is affected. So this ulnar now to be treatable by activating the point to be known as the Shaohai. Shahai is the H3 point, especially on the, this particular side. When this particular region, there are the few motor points are existing, that motor points to be activated, 1.5 tun discal to the H3. If the motor nerve is affected, the muscle is affected, or there is some medial nerve or the other nerve is affected, to the release of that particular nerve, we just use the point to be called as a Shahai. Below that, the H3 below that uh, 1.5 tune distance. 
Now we look at about the people who get the nausea and vomiting sensation sometimes, which is connected to abdominal disorders. I would like to give you a key to all of you again. The problem is on the cervical region. The problem is in the head region. It's not connected to the purely head-related problem. Right? Until you don't treat for the abdominal system, when the stomach is good, when the colon is good, then head is good, when the gut and brain axis to be worked precisely, then you understand the abdominal system is good, then definitely our head also good. But when the process, numerous diseases causes for the one particular issue, but how about here, I would like to address you, that to be if the person is suffering for the abdominal related diseases, but here I would like to say you as the local point, you can use it, one point to be called as a chung one, that is the rent wall, the other point is the distal point, that is leak one, that to be called as a pericardium, six together is ultimately good. So you wanted to add up another extra additional point to drive out the unwanted rebellions of the chi, when the chi is going upward direction, leads to the numerous diseases of the stomach and esophagus and food pipe. So that then pulls the stomach to the downward direction to deplete the energy, that should reach to the colon, so that colon point to be activated by using the Li Gui, that is the stomach 45. You just add up this point, when the stomach and colon is good, definitely the other parameters also precisely good. Right, now you understand about the, the TCM perspective of the points. Now you understand about the another set of the points, operation. The filling of needles, reducing method, the neutral supplementation and drying method. And now there are the few points here I have mentioned, apart from that, the next GRG which we call as the extra 21. The other points are the collaterals in order. So what are the collaterals are going towards the neck? This is also very important. When the patient is seen to the coming 10 times for the one particular patient, that particular time don't use only the one protocol to treat the patient. Oh no, SSR told SI3 and UB62, they can use it. It's not like that. But the other protocols to be called as a, the, there is a collaterals. What are the Shaoyang, Sayang? Sayang collateral, you try to understand, it's small intestine collateral is chin chin, that is SI7, right? SI7 is the lower collateral. When you look at about the right one, that is a triple valve collateral. Then you understand the PM, that is the UV58 is the collateral of the urinary daughter, right? When you understand about the do my meridian, do my meridian is only the local points, you can use it for the local effect by using the Penman and Fuku, that is the MN and then you be DU14 and then DU15 and 16. At the most time is the Shen Mai. Shen Mai, why I have written here is the UB62 point. That is the that is the confluential point for treating for the Yang Bei Yang Chiu Mai. There are the eight extra meridians are existing. Right. So that Yang Chiu Mai is the origin of the one meridian pathway from here on the lateral mandibles that ascends upward direction and communicating to the spine. From the spine it ascends upward direction and ultimately that is reaching to the pen too. That is reaching to the brain, especially on the EU 16 area. That's the reason that point to be very precisely good to treat for the young chew. And the, the last point to be called as a GP39 Swan Chung. So that particular point really works awesome, but that is my very favorite point to treat for the known and unknown cases of the diseases because sometimes diseases come to know, sometimes we doesn't know what are the pathology of that particular disease. In that particular time, we definitely use the point to be called as a, is the treatable for the yellow bone marrow, red bone marrow. Both bone marrow is very much essential to release and uh, sub, uh, substances which are called as a red blood corpuscles and white blood corpuscles. So therefore both can be released by activating one particular point because the point is influential point for the bone marrow. If the bone marrow is good, then definitely the blood synthesis is also good. When the spleen is good, then the red blood corpuscles will be precisely works well. When the kidney is good, then of course is the white blood WBC or RBC precisely, you know, synthesis in the body will be always is good. Then the modern, now it's so far I think completed the TCM perspective. Now you wanted to understand about the modern acupuncture, but this will be really awesome if you understand, right? 
I think everybody is sitting in one particular place is getting tedious, or that I should not make you tedious again, but please be stand for a minute, and then give big hands to not for me, but yourself definitely, that you are attuning and activating your brain to come to yourself. Please be stand for a minute, and then give big hands to yourself. That activate your brain, that activate yourself.
the nervous system which supplies to the cut, right? The third one is, the fourth one is called as a syndicome. Syndicomes is nothing but it is the energy of the nervous system passes to the tendons, right? One is dermatome, myotome, sclerotome. Sclerotome which is communicating directly the nerves which passes to the bone system, the skeletal system. So these are the majorly you keep it in your mind. One is, is the dermatome, myotome, sclerotome, enterotome, right? Syndicome. These are the five tones. Among these five tones, the most crucial is only the dermatome and myotome. These are the two most important things once you understand. In order to treat for the numerous for these musculoskeletal related diseases. Now based on this perspective, so dermatome, myotome goes in hand in hand. So therefore one is affected, the other also affected, vice versa. So now the dermatome pain patterns often follow the acupuncture channels topography and these pain patterns indicate the spinal segment that the patient radiating pain may be coming from the different places. Now you understand here is the dermatomes are radiating towards the acupuncture channel. I am communicating connecting to the western perspective and also communicating to the TCM perspective. Awesome. I love myself. You may love it or not, I do But I love this so much. Because we have studied 20 years of acupuncture in the name of Meridian, but today we know that because the nervous system is connected to one particular meridian, the nervous system is communicating to one uh, no, many meridians, that will be awesome. Scientifically, it will prove and cut to them or not cut to them, that is the second way. But when you wanted to treat the patient, you try to make them the analogical way to understand the Western doctors or the Irish doctors, this is the treatment I am giving you. For instance, I'm <coughs> Here you will come to know that the, you look at the image which we call as a C3 and a C4, you just look at the image here. When this particular the anterior shoulder muscles are affected, anterior shoulder, upper arm anterior shoulder muscles are, that means called as the anterior deltoid muscles are affected that particular region. Now you, you tell to the patient or you tell to the doctor, especially doctor, the shoulder pain is not related to the shoulder brachial syndrome, only connected to the some bursitis, not only related to the, you know, tendinitis related to that particular joint. No doubt this is the biggest complex joint in our body is, is the shoulder joint, the dislocation. The second complex joint is the knee joint, right? But this particular region, patient is suffering the pain. Now we apply the points called as a Chiang Yo, Chiang Yo, Chiang Sen. Chiang means in Chinese is the shoulder. So that particular time we apply LI 15, Sen Yo 14, and SI 9 is the local points. We treat that. But local points, where are you inserting that particular anterior deltoid and posterior deltoid muscles? You are inserting the needle, but that needle at the same time that is treating to the particular now as well, that is the key. That's the key. You understand? Now I told you that when the C3 and the C4 is affecting on the shoulder, neck and shoulder region, you treat that particular point. At the same time, where is the origin to cause? Where is the dermatome? Where is the myotome? So then you understand. The C3, you just apply the C3 now. When you activate the C4, now on the cervical region, up you understand how many nerves are here, from here to here. Totally, we do have seven bones or vertebras are there, but vertebras are there, but the nerves are eight nerves are there because of one nerve is existing above the atlas. Above the atlas, the nerve starts. That's the reason there, there are totally how many? Eight, eight nerves. So therefore, when the nerve also affecting to the shoulder problem, then the pain is only here. There is no pain on this particular region. So that particular time, which is now to be activated, you understand how to identify this particular region. So there are the two ways you try to understand. So this is the posterior hairline. The posterior hairline, the points are located midway between the two bones. One is the atlas is the top bone, axis is the second bone, third is the C3. So therefore, you just activate this particular region to treat half to lateral. How to this go only this index or pinky finger lateral to the vertebra? Then, sir, vertebra, we can't see that. You just try to see there is a posterior hairline. Posterior hairline is nothing but the C1 and C2. 
Now you wanted to know, first the clones are from, but he doesn't have hairs and all. If the bar is not able to identify, try to find out the C7 vertebra. C7 vertebra is a prominent vertebra where the person is neck rotation. So neck rotation cannot be taken by C7. C6 it rotates, C7 doesn't rotate. Right? So when you just try to understand this, from here C7, place it the three fingers. Four fingers, that means three tone proximal, and then that to be called as a C1 and C2. Right, very super simple understanding. So, in that way, you just activate the point to be called as a drum here, you identify C1, C2. Now, I told you, shoulder pain is there. This is C1, C2, C3, C3, and C4. This particular now getting affected, then that may be causing the pain on the shoulder, back here, issues. So that time inside the needle on that particular region, if the patient is consigned to the numbness and then pain as well and also tingling sensation. If the patient doesn't say I don't have the, I don't have the, you know, numbness, so in that condition you need not to activate. Chachi ko jabhi pakana jab chachi kamzor hai, ya chachi ka root cause hai, ya phir chachi creating the problem of the nerve impeachment or the nerve spinal cord compression, myelopathy, reticulopathy, this too conditions is normally is recommended. When you wanted to treat according to the TCM says, first three points Bindu Pagar up activate karenge. So that is the Chiyan, Yo Chiyan, Yo Chiyan sign. So Chiyan, 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 ye three Pagar pakal lete hai, so strong stimulation karte hai, anterior delta, posterior delta, mid delta, tino ka activate karte hai, and also the rotator cuff muscles, there are the four muscles, the supraspinatus, infraspinatus, and teres minor muscles ko activate karne ke liye, when you act Activate these points and definitely that you are strengthening to that particular point of region to release the muscles, to relax the muscles and dilatation of the muscles. So therefore, sometimes it will work as a just a manipulation strongly without the stimulation doesn't work most of the time. That's the reason it is called as a EA to be taken place, that to be called as electroacupuncture to be given strongly and precisely so that the patient feels more relaxation. Otherwise, just to insert the needle and leave it, now the patient is feeling that I do have the pain. So until you don't rotate precisely in some direction, there is a one point I would like to tell you, Chiyan Chiyan Su, so that particular point to be called as a, especially midway between the anterior axillary crease, that one particular point to be called as a five phase. Five phase means is a great point to treat for the cardiac related diseases, which is located midway between the, and the anterior axillary crease. So this crease from here the Chianyu. Chianyu point means LI15 point. This LI15 and then this point. Together there is a, there is an area called as a midway between the five phase, that is the anterior axillary crease, and then the LI50. There are the two dimples are there for the shoulder. I think you can see you just object the hand. Yes, object the hand, you can find. You can find the two dimples on the anterior dimple and then posterior dimple. Anterior dimple and then this this particular point is releasing the this particular point to be treatable towards the charge chin, that is the ball product 21. So sometimes, see, I'm still learning. I'm still learning, I would like to say here, because the needling is a very, very crucial when you are treating, because every muscle needs to know the origin, every muscle needs to know the insertion. So both you know, midway between the one particular point, that particular point to be amazing point to be known as a motor point. Right, so at the spindle of the muscles, so for that's the reason anatomy hold should be there. No, I studied only acupuncture, I know meridians and pathways, only I can able to treat only that one. See, that is certain limitations of this. When you wanted to learn all this perspective, then definitely you do require the anatomical and physiological aspect as well. Now you understand, I'm moving to the, on the radial side, when the patient is complaining on the, from the shoulder region, till the two fingers, right? If the patient is complaining, I do have the pain in this pathway, then you understand, it is we all know, there are the two meridians are affected, so that meridian is now the meridian, the other next meridian called as the pulmonary organ meridian. So that two meridians are collectively called as a amazing here that is related to the radial now, right? 
So the radial now is affected which causing the problem of the lung and the large intestine meridian getting the pain. If there is the pain or there, or there is the index finger, or the thumb is there, the pain or the numbness, anything connected to the, related to the C, which now is affected. C6 now is affected. You understand these two fingers are belong to the C6 now. This middle finger is connected to the C7 now. These two fingers are connected to the C8 now. So now you understand this particular two fingers is affected. The people sometimes will be affected the trigger finger. So once they close and they are not able to open this individually. So they have to pull and then they have to open. In that time there is the there is the some kind of the cyst or the nodules are existing on the form. So we have to release that also at the same time release the nerve also which is communicating from the C6 now. So that definitely will be the awesome the patient take around two months of the treatment. But if you can focus this kind of the treatment rather than the two months in the chances are in two to five days the patient feels more relaxation. What is required to you? We, are, we should give the relief to the patient. That's what some people have the resistance to the body. Even I could treat to the, some patient, the patient says, I do have the pain. But some people, otherwise acupuncture is a genius means there will be no Western medical doctors. There is no MBBS, there is no Ayurveda, Yunani, Amsita, Sova, Likpa, right? And the Amsita medicine. So all the six systems, so how there is existing in the similar way. This also works where there is the acupuncture. Doesn't work, we take out, you know, support from the Western medicine. We take support from the Irish medicine, so on. When that doesn't work over there, then definitely the acupuncture. Because we are connecting to the now. We are connecting to the muscle. We are connecting to the, you know, artery. But we should not touch to artery. But we can touch to the surface to reach to that particular level. We are reaching to the tendon. We are reaching to the cartilage. We are reaching to the bone. We are reaching to the bone marrow as well. Then that is the key. That is the key. Why acupuncture works? Because that the needling also different. Because the surface needling, muscular needling, subcutaneous level, tendon level, heart is level, bone level, and bone marrow level. Right? In that way, we activate. Then definitely, because the patient take it, the people take the NSAIDs or some other medication, it works instantly, but we are working to the very the origin and pathology of the disease. So there we are inserting the needle, there is some kind of the changes instantly. Now the patient is complaining, C7, you know, the middle finger, the other one is this. So now you understand about the medial now, the medial now, and then Allah, now how many nerves are there? Normally there are the five nerves I can recommend you. One is the radial ulnar median and musculocutaneous nerve and then other nerve called as the pharynic nerve. So now you understand the musculocutaneous now. This now called as the musculocutaneous now. This now called as the radial now. This now called as the medial now. This this now called as the radial now also and also ulnar now as well. But this now is called as the medial now. This now called as the Media and no, Allah no, right. So in, the, in this way, then you look at about the next level because of this all are connected to the ventral side. But we wanted to understand about the dorsal side as well. So now you just understand about the dorsal side. C5 dermatome follows the lung and pericardium channel of the upper shoulder and then forearm. Musculocutaneous now transfers the primarily the pericardium and then lung channel in the upper arm. Right? C6 the dermatome follows the large intestine and the lung channel along the upper arm, along the radial forearm and index finger, the lung channel of the thumb. Already which I given the explanation, same thing is existing here. Then C7 dermatome follows the sangio channel. You understand this also key. But when the sangio channel is there, that channel the patient is complaining, then understand it is connected to the it is connected to the which now? C7 now. When the C7 now is affected, then the triple warmer meridian also affected. Right, the median now transfers the primarily the pericardium channel in the upper extremity. Then C8 dermatome, the ulnar now transfers the primarily a part and small intestine meridian uh, of the upper extremity follows the small intestine on the medial arm, ring finger and little finger. So anyone have the doubts over this region? 
See, now I'll repeat you once again for your reference. Mm -hmm. So keep it in your mind, that will be really good to, for the clinical practice. Mm -hmm. Now this is as a ventral side, this is as a dorsal side. Now ventral side is there. Mm -hmm. This ventral side, you understand these two fingers to be known as a which now? Radial now. So this to be called as a medial now. Medial now. Yes. This now called as a now. Now, now these meridians, C6 is equivalent to the lungs and the large intestine meridian. C6 is equivalent to C lungs and large intestine meridian. And then C7 is, is equal to Sanju, no, no. Right. This in the ring finger and then pinky finger is equivalent to the heart and the small intestine meridian. So, but these two nerves are called as the C8 now, the C7 now, this is the C5 now. Right. So, in this way we understand, at the same time I will give you some protocol, but when the whole meridian is affected, according to the TCM is different, according to the Western medicine is different. Right? Today you are going to learn the Western acupuncture points, so that's the key for you. Now, before you know, stepping into the particular points, cervical facet joints will affect it to the cervical brachial syndrome. For that, how to be activated, how to be precisely done, that's really key here. Now, you understand, I would like to give you, I love this, all this. You may be love the thing. Don't love me, but love this subject. Guru Sur, Shab, Dao, Kati, Oya, Nei, Kati. Yes. Guru Sur, Guru. Yes. Yes. Guru Sur, Nei, Kati, Nei, Kati. Yes. Hare, ya, abhi to situation hai na. As a situation hai, abhi badal jai. अगर कोई नॉन एक्यूपंचर है, तो एक्यूपंचर में इतना थोड़ा बहुत ग्राम है, तो फिर आप भी ग्राम से जाइए ना, ठीक है? तो फिर आप भी मजा आ जाएगा। और वरना आपको एक-एक सेकंड में तकलीफ होगी। अगर ऐसा नहीं होना, और ऐसा हम कंसर्नी नहीं करेंगे। लेकिन अभी आप समझे, फेस एंड जांच इस इमोशन, यू अंडरस्टैंड, द प्रॉब्लम इज आपने बहुत ही एक्सट्रीम लेवल में समझने वाले हैं, डिजीज को, डिजीज नो सर्वाइकल पी, ये डिजीज के बारे में मैंने तीन घंटे आपको लेक्चर दे रहा हूँ, वन पर्टिकुलर डिजीज दे रहा हूँ, now you understand the facet joints also causing the pain on the cervical pain. Now, how does it, you know, we wanted to know. So, we have said that cervical facet joints located approximately here. So, it's okay. But facet joints are also called as the synovial joints within the joint capsule with the hyaline cartilage located on the each articulating surface. But when we have the belief that it is not related to the problem, let me just purely related to the vertebras hai. it is purely related to the osteophytes hai, or osteoporosis hai. as a situation as the marriage to the three four and we so we have no care local point what's the estimate for it now we have to mother are there come to find my tune lateral especially of the UK on the central midline central midline to be called as a do my meridian point by tune lateral to the lower border is called as the Chachi meridian, the other one tune lateral to the spine to be called as the facet meridian, 1.5 tune lateral to the ear spine to be called as the medial UV meridian, and the two tune lateral to the spine to be called as the motor meridian, and two, three tune lateral to the spine to be called as the lateral UV meridian. Right. This is the meridian, some of the other UV meridian and Duma meridian, like in half. Zero meridian is called as a central line, half chun dutra hai, one chun dutra hai, one point five chun dutra meridian hai, two chun dutra meridian hai, two point five chun dutra meridian hai, three chun dutra meridian hai. Lekin mene two chun to two point five chun, aapko ka ye, aapko ye kit te deta hao. Lekin aapne praza is ni kutna ni measurement me ye bolta hai, aisa mehni hai. Paraspinal muscles are called as a whole muscles called as a paraspinal muscles. How many muscles are existing in the body? 642 muscles are there. But especially the neck, how many muscles are there? 
greater than 20 muscles, face may have 42 muscles, right? But yahan pe next muscle, next ke niche, agar aapko pura meridian mein agar kahi pe bhi problem ho, especially we are talking about the cervical issues, one chun lateral, one chun lateral agar problem hai, to wahan pe bhi hum log half chun mein kaam nahi chala, to take the another pathway, so to go, because that energy is locked and go to some other pathway to reach the destination, Take the one chun lateral, waha pe aapko face and joints to treatment karo, then you are treating to the vertebral arteries. You are treating to the, the spinal nerves are different from the vertebral arteries. Arteries are blocked ho gaye hai, yani block ka matlab deficiency hai. So, us waqt mein agar aapko activate karna hai, definitely that will be the great advantage to treat for the vertebral artery communicating to the vascular artery. Jab ye problem peak ho ta hai, to blind problem bhi peak ho jata hai. Agar blind mein agar occipital sub-muscles mein agar problem ho ra hai, then you are treating to the facet joints, definitely that can be treatable not only that particular region, but of course that you are treating to the central nervous system as well. Now you understand about the facet joints, Something is totally different here, but however the dura mater region of the GU60, here I wanted to say you, the cadaver dissection is a very, very important. So actually we were talking deeper than myself, a long ago we wanted to do the clinical research methodology to be taken place, but already done the research here, that research to be called as a cadaver research section. From there that particular region, so they identified that DO16 is the PENCO, this is a very important acupuncture point that frequently treating for the disease of the head and neck because that is the cadaver dissection to be taken place has shown the connection between the myodural bridge so and the dura matter of the brain stem as being the tissue that physically links the dumai internal pathway. That's amazing. So Chinese says now you understand. So because sometimes I connect in the different levels that sometimes it will come the truth because the pen who this time also I told you Chinese says the prime energy is entering inside the pen who region Yemen and pen who region I told you several times but I don't know really I am telling you I don't know that yes the Chiang Chiomai the energy starts from here it goes it communicating here but based on that perspective some author is identified that caraval section jo maya hua insaan ko dikhai kar phir that when he has seen the connectivity of the myodural bridge on the neck region wahan pe dura matter wo myodural bridge is a very much crucial in order to understand about the prevent of the atlas and axis bone agar ye dono ko agar jama karne ke liye ek bridge hota kyunki because the whole skull cannot give the burden on the other bone if the bone is each vertebra is holding our nerve strength at the same time the maximum vertebra is the burden to be taken place on the L4 vertebra. That's the reason is the major response here. But at the same time God has been made our body, especially the atlas is nothing but the flow. That's the reason the name of the fact is the atlas is the first bone. So that particular atlas bone is holding our head. So how many pages of the head? So here, what is the size of the brine? 1260 grams of our brine is holding from the birth to till death. So on the bone called as the atlas, that particular region, there is a bridge called as a myodural bridge. So that is the cadaver section has been identified that particular region where the energy, that pen poo energy, brine energy is entering into that particular spot, that is thought to be called as a pen poo. 